Today, the author will be exploring the importance of leadership and management that is informed by knowledge, experience, and acquired expertise. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. Storin et al. 2007 posits a view that the organizational harmony, teachers' intellectual ability, professional development, transparency in, in students' evaluation, feedback and training are the important factors that mentally develop students. It means, therefore, that educational leadership in schools should be strategic, deliberate, and premeditated. It is proposed today that the Ministry of Education and Youth stipulates that public schools practice knowledge management where competent, experienced educators are selected as board chairmen to guide the effective oversight of these schools. Robbins, Vicenzo et al., 2013, defines management as the process of getting things done effectively and efficiently. Leithwood and Rail, 2003, posits that leadership is a function more than a role. The education of the nation's children as we move vehemently towards Vision 2030 cannot be left to chance. In order for us to realize this vision, the boards of public schools must recognize the importance and engage in knowledge management and leadership as a calculated strategy that will positively impact the ethos and culture of schools. Odell and Grayson, 1998, believe that knowledge management is a strategy to be developed in a firm to ensure that knowledge reaches the right person at the right time. To learn well, students need access to high quality instruction and a well-crafted curriculum. After that, they benefit much from a positive, from the positive effect of strong school leadership. Who better to offer this than persons with formal training and vested interest in the field of education. The value of knowledge is increased when it has a key purpose and focuses on a mission, core values and strategic priorities. To quote Habart et tell 2002, cited by Debowski 2006, states that effective organizations rely on leadership rather than leaders. The role of knowledge leadership is to provide strategic vision, motivate others, effective communication, act as a change agent, coach others around, mold good practices, and carry out the knowledge agenda. The effective oversight and management of schools will foster improved teaching and learning and staff motivation. Dictionary.com defines oversight as the active supervision given to accomplish a purpose, producing the intended and expected results. Therefore, effective oversight and management is the primary responsibility of corporate boards and directors. They should engage, monitor, and when necessary, replace company management. The central criticism of many modern public company boards have been their failure to engage in this kind of active management oversight that results in more effective corporate performance. Bagot, Crary, and Elson, 1999. Our conclusion from this evidence as a whole is that leadership has very significant effect on the quality of school organization and the pupils' learning. 
As far as we are aware, there is not, not one single documented case of a school successfully turning around its pupils' achievement trajectory in the absence of talented leadership. Human resources are the most important among the resources owned by any organization. The entire success of an organization in, is based on how managers keep its employees motivated. Danish and Osman, 2010. Experienced educated, educators are best suited for the position of school board chairman. Experts differ from novices in that experts have a great number of concepts available. Organized information on the basis of identifying principles and are capable of applying concepts in a flexible fashion, contingent on key characteristics of the institution. Leaders, no matter how gifted, initially enter organization as novices. Thus, they lack basic concepts that provide them with an understanding of the work, organizational context, and leadership role. Experience is the key to the practitioner's skills. And until a manager learns from his own first-hand experience on the job how to take action and how to gain the willing cooperation of others in achieving desired results, he is not likely to advance very far up the managerial ladder. Livingston, 1971. Knowledge and experience as an educator does not guarantee effective management. One troubling development is what appeared to be the increasing impatience with political division on school boards, allowing the campaign mentality to tarnish relationships at the cost of students, teachers, and parents. This is never good governance. This is never good go governance. However, school boards provide a crucial link between public values, and professional expertise. They are the epitome of representative governance in our democracy. Land 2002, Resnick 1999, Shannon 1994. Ineffective governance is often the byproduct of what we call school board dysfunction. The, institution, the situation in which board members lacking in organization, leadership, and an understanding of their role diminish a board's capacity for good decision-making and strong educational leadership. Mans 2015. He posits further that a dysfunctional board can mean years of stalled progress on improving schools. It is time that the Ministry of Education and Youth stipulates that public schools practice knowledge management, where competent, experienced educators are selected as board chairman to guide the effective oversight of these schools. This would improve the teacher performance, and the overall ethos of the schools. I am passionate about people. I've spent my life in advocacy. People matter. Whether or not we agree on the issue, people matter. So posit, posits Anne-Marie Burkle. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon.